It's the wheel of episode number. Dog, what is up with my fucking brain today? I'm on cocaine. I'm on that white. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Last episode, I had to apologize. I fucked up my audio. I have this nice ass microphone, and I just was switching around stuff, and I accidentally didn't even have it going. So it used like my crap dickery microphone to record, which is so buns. Like, that sucks. So unfortunately, we lost like really, really good audio. And I think I fucked up my, I, I made some mistakes in that video. Wow. But nevertheless, we did take a W. So you can't, you can't mess around with, you, you can't not post it. You know what I mean? Like, it's Wheel of Mud, okay? It doesn't matter if there's a, it doesn't matter if I die. It doesn't matter if I, it's getting posted. Sam what Rogers is still on my team, which is an issue. Sam Rogers, you need to leave. Okay, so we added Bo Jackson, godly player. And we added Joe Hayden, godly player. We're still in the playoffs. I got another game. I got two more games till I'm in the Super Bowl. Usually you guys don't see all this because I don't record everything like in a good sequence because I'm a bum. But I'm trying it out today. Honest to God, if you don't know the rules by now, go back to episode one. What are you doing here on episode 24 if you don't know the rules? We're getting a wheel spin in because that's how we do it. The wheel of mud. My brain is not working, but we're taking this wheel spin out of position. 89, 91 motivators. I would take motivators. I'll take a top 102 spins. Wow! That's like one of the best ones. Top 102 spins, Jackpot. So, we go on the wheel of 2017's top 100 players at the end of the year. This was not voted on by the fans, it is voted on by the players. I had to make that correction because I forgot that last year. But I get two spins, I can take any version of a card that pops up for whatever player we get here, we're gonna get, oh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get something in the 90s. It's gonna be a Brandon Graham. I honest to God don't know if he has a good card this year or not. So we're about to find out. Oh my God. He has a 95 overall left end? Let's go! That's, I don't know why my voice did that, like always, but holy shit! That's so good! Oh my god, do you guys remember when I told you last time if I get a better left end to replace Jadavion Clowney? I don't know what I'm gonna do with Jadavion Clowney. Brandon Graham! It's everything, it's like a prophecy, dude. It's all falling into place right now. Alright, we got a brand new left end, 95 overall. Great pickup to start this episode. Let's get, oh wait, I have another spin just on this, and then a whole other spin on Wheel of Nut. Let's see what we get for a second top 100 player. That's why it's a jackpot, because you get shit like that. This is gonna give us a Jordan Reed. Bruh! That's like as good as it could have been. Jordan Reed is a real tight end, and now I get to move Bo Jackson somewhere else. Because Jordan Reed has like a really good 93 overall card. Oh my god, bro. I'm on freaking cloud nine. An 86 speed Jordan Reed. I always, in almost all the sets I use, I have two tight ends in too. So like, even if Bo is still in at tight end, oh my god, this is so good. I can't even handle this. I don't think I've ever gotten spins this good. Before we go anywhere else, I still have another spin on the Wheel of Nut. Because that was just two spins from that one spin, if that makes any sense. And we're gonna add, oh my god, are we seriously about to add another Bo Jackson? What is this episode? Bo Jackson wheel, meaning I have a position wheel. I take a Bo Jackson from whatever position I get. Granted, I already have Bo Jackson on offense, so it's only going to be either defensive, kicker, or punter. Does that make sense? Because I can't have you can't have two Bo Jacksons on offense, but I can have a defensive one and I can have a kicker punter. So we're just going to spin it. We're going to see what we get. It's going to come in at a cornerback. Oh my God, we get cornerback Bo Jackson. I'll take it. I know he's gonna be, he's gonna be a 93 overall corner, right? I don't even know if he's good at corner. I've never seen him played at corner. I really hope there's one up on the auction house. Now that I think about it, have some asshole like monopolize the price. Okay, we're good. So Bo Jackson cornerback. Let's look at his stats. So zone coverage is huge. We need good zone coverage. 90. Oh my god, that's literally perfect. It's 91. That's exactly what we need. 90 press, 91 zone, 91 speed. Catching is meh. Awareness great. Throw power for some reason is really good. Tackle is pretty good. Jumping is pretty dang good. What's his hit power? 90. Oh my god, I'm pumped. I don't even know if Bar does anything. He also has unfakeable, which means he can't get juked out, and that's ridiculous. Bo Jackson, cornerback. Welcome to my team. Two 93s and a 95. We have to, oh my god, we have to win this game. And we're in the playoffs. Mm, this just got real intense real quick. So Bo Jackson, fullback, is not going to be my starting tight end. How well could Bo Jackson, fullback, play wide receiver? Or Kenny? Yeah, they're not going to let it. They would potentially let Barry, though. I really don't know where to put Bo Jackson fullback. I don't want to put him at fullback. I don't use my fullback for anything. I think I just have to hang on to this Bo Jackson fullback 
until I can prestige him and do something really useful with him. So I'm gonna put him, ugh, this feels so weird doing this. I'm gonna put Bo Jackson fullback as my secondary tight end. I'm gonna use, I almost always use both tight ends in my sets, so that's okay. Okay, so Jordan Reed and Bo Jackson are my fullbacks right now. I know this looks weird, but once I can prestige Bo, it'll be okay. Then on defense, holy shit. My defense is so good. Can I put Bo, oh my God. Bo Jackson's cornerback card is a 92 free safety. 91 zone coverage. 91 speed, he is way better than that cam chance. I'm going Bo Jackson to put him at free safety. All right, so unfakeable doesn't trigger on Bo Jackson here, but it's better than Cam Chancellor, who sucks. So now I have a Cam Chancellor just that has no use on this team. Additionally, I have a Judavian Clowney who has no use on this team because Brandon Graham's definitely going here over him. Good God, look at that defense, bro. God damn, this team is so good. I almost have to find a way to nerf my team again. Like I'm trying to nerf it with prestige points, but it's so good. Let's go hop into a game. I say this a lot, but I think this is absolutely the most important game that I win. Like undoubtedly the most important game that I win. Da, da, I didn't miss it. Back to the old days. 95, 95 and Brandon Graham joins us and whoo! He's got a beautiful team too. Oh my God, this is so weird. Okay, get this out of your head right now. I'm the white team. I'm so used to me being those color rush lions and you guys probably are too. I'm the white team and he's that team and he's got Barry Sanders. This is weird. This is actually really confusing. I am not a friend of God. Oh my God. <laughs> I was so close to saying good start. I can't believe he got that to go through. Inside zone. He loves his inside zone. Yes, he does. Oh my God, I can't believe he just got Yes, it was inside zone again. And it, oh my God, what? This guy, this guy does not have a very deep playbook, I would say. Oh, that's play action. I blitzed the Bo Jackson and he gets in with Steve Young. That was a terrible drive by him. I'm not worried. I'm not concerned. That was lame. First and 10, you think he can sniff out a screen? I don't think he can. Clearly he can't. We're gonna get a good block right there. We just gotta beat one man, we gotta swerve. Darn it. Good work though, that's gonna put us in scoring range almost. Third and six. I might just buck up and take my field goal. Oh, he's in a cover two though, I know I can split it. Coming in at my backup halfback though. Oh, look at Bo. Look at Bo! I love Bo Jackson, let's go. I, I love you Barry, but Bo Jackson's so good. It's a dilemma. Might be able to hit Sanders in the middle here. Oh, that's a scramble. I like my odds on this scramble. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a fourth and one, I think. It is not worth going for it, not getting it. I gotta put my points up on the board. I don't think he, I think he's trash on offense, so I just want my points up on the board. Then I'm gonna get a stop. All in all, I'm happy with how this is going so far. Other than his lucky touchdown, I'm happy. First and 10, probably an inside zone because he's not exactly a creative guy. There's an inside zone and we fill that hole with Ryan Shazier. Is the tight end angle formation? Ooh, he wants a little scramble action. I'll take that. Third and ten. Play action for sure. Any Ooh, that was a nice... I did not know what he just threw there. That was kind of nice. I'll give him that. I've never seen that before. Ooh, a little play action. Oh, I can't get to him fast enough. Come on. Let me switch on. And he's not going to fall. Steve Young. Is that a run up the middle? Boom, oh, Janavian Clowney! RT tackle, Janavian Clowney gets a big hitter fumble. I love this. Let's hit up a PA crosser. You never know. Ooh, look at that. Right in the middle of the field. Randy Moss! <laughs> gets nailed. Hangs out of the ball, thank God. Let's go with the, uh, let's go with the inside zone to Barry Sanders. We're in hurry up, which scares me a little bit. Great blocks! Great blocks! We got the edge. Boom. Uh, the dead fish. The dead fish into the end zone. 10 to 7. Playoffs football, baby. One of these times, too, I'm gonna go real deep. <laughs> Gay! Oh, let's go. We got another sack. Don Tari. Ho. Oh. The interior guys are playing out of their minds right now. Second and 16. So there's the play action. We got a little bench route bench. right here. <laughs> we got another sack. Miles Garrett. Let's go. But you got amigo. You got nothing. We got another sack. Jude that was Jude Van Clowney out of D tackle. Came all the way across the middle. Fourth and 22, he's forced to punt. All right, he's gonna, he's gonna punt out of bounds. Are you kidding? Maybe Randy Moss can catch that and keep it in? Okay, Randy. Okay, Randy Moss! With the nasty spin! And he's going to the end zone Randy Moss! What just happened? Actually, what just happened? That was so sick! And he's got a rage quit! Beat him up! In the playoffs! Let's go! That was nasty! 
Kenny Moss stayed on his feet 17 to 7 in the first half. That's a rage quit, which is another spin for us on episode 24. So now I told you guys before that I was gonna do for the rage quit spins. I was actually gonna give myself two if they rage quit in the first half. But I'm realizing my team is getting way too good. Like it's actually getting too good. So I can't do that. So I'm just gonna take my one spin. That's gonna end off this episode. And also, Ratchet recording today because I already put my computer away. I don't wanna do that right now. So, so far, we've got like two of the best spins we've ever gotten. And we got one more spin right here coming up to be. I don't really know yet because you guys are gonna see it before I do. It's gonna land on. You're fucking kidding me. That is literally the best thing on this wheel. Calvin Johnson. I have, this is the most ridiculous episode of Wheel of Mud I think I've ever done in my entire life. 90, so the Calvin Johnson, I put that the Calvin Johnson thing on the wheel because I didn't know how I was going to be able to acquire Calvin Johnson at all. Like, it didn't really make sense to put him on another thing in the wheel. I didn't know how I could get him. So I was just like, screw it. If I get the Calvin Johnson spin, I get Calvin Johnson. And there's like a one in like, what? How many, how many things are on here? One in 50, a 2% chance I even get that spin? I do get two spins an episode, so it's more like a 4% chance. 4% 4% chance at Calvin Johnson, and we get it. Now, I could have taken free safety Calvin Johnson, too. I kind of got, the, the idea was I got to pick between them. But I just put Bo Jackson at free safety. So we're going to take Calvin Johnson, the 96 overall wide receiver. Oh, my God. This prestige is going to be depressing. I'm going to be losing some seriously studly players. Calvin Johnson, welcome to Wheel of Mud. So now it, it begs the question... Do I really keep Dwight Clark over Tyreek Hill? I don't know if I want to keep Dwight Clark. Tyreek Hill's really good. Randy and Calvin both have go deep. Randall Cunningham has pound the rock. And Tyreek has go deep. So that fills out their chemistry too. So this is Dwight Clark versus Tyreek. Tyreek's got the 94 speed. That's a five hole speed better. Dwight obviously has better catching. But this is the slot receiver. And really all you need out of your slot receiver is some speed on some like drag routes and stuff. Tyreek Hill's played amazing for me. I can't put Dwight Clark in I also have the defense of Bo Jackson dilemma. For some reason, I buy Bo Jackson at free safety when he could be at corner. I almost had to like wipe the slate clean and start over. I've come to love these guys so much. My Shazir, my Clowney, I've come to love this Jadavian Clowney. I've come to love my Malcolm Smith, my Ronnie Law. These guys have been with me since the start. My Barry Sanders, my Tyreek Hill, my Randall. All right, guys, crazy ass episode, seriously. Thanks for watching as always. Stay tuned, episode 25. After 25, we got a prestige again, so. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna get rid of. I have Levante, I have Bo, the 95, Brandon Graham, Calvin, the track. Jordan Reed, Bo Jackson, again. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Take care.